Hello friends, welcome to this ninth video on the series of group theory. The eighth video covered about the permutation groups. We are going to see this video as a continuation of the prior one. So we will do one more problem in the order of permutation groups. If the permutation of the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 elements are there are given by alpha, beta and gamma. We have to find the values of alpha, beta, beta, alpha, alpha square, alpha, beta, gamma. Further, we will have to solve the equation alpha x equal to beta. So, there are going to be 5 elements. So, your S is containing 5 elements. So, how many combinations we can make out of it? This can be arranged in 5 factorial ways. 5 factorial meaning 120 ways. There are going to be various ways like 120 ways in which these 5 elements can be arranged among themselves. Out of this, we have been given with just 3 elements and we have been asked to find the value for the compositions. Okay. You will have to keep in mind that we are going to follow the composition of the order from right, uh, left to right. Left to right. So, this is going to be the order in which the composition are going to be performed in the case of our video. Now, let us take the first question namely alpha beta. What is going to be alpha beta? Alpha will be rewritten as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 with 2, 3, 1, 4, 5. Now followed with beta which takes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 with 1, 2, 3, 5 and then 4. So the combination will also be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We will see what is going to be the order in which the arrangement is going to be made. Now 1 is mapped with 2 and 2 is mapped with 2. So obviously this 1 over here gets mapped to 2. Okay, 1, 2, 2 and 2 with 2. Next element is going to be 2 is mapped with 3 and 3 is mapped with 3. So 2 gets mapped with 3. Next we have 3 mapped with 1 and 1 mapped with 1. So, 3 will be mapped with 1. So, I map 3 with 1. Next, I have 4 mapped with 4 and 4 mapped with 5. So, my 4 over here will be mapped with 5. So, this makes it as 5. Next, and the last element, 5 mapped with 5 and this 5 is getting mapped with 4 over here. So, this 5 will be mapped with 4. So, I have my 5 to be mapped with 4. So, this is going to be the value for alpha beta. Now, the second question asked me about beta alpha. So, let me compute what is the value of beta alpha. When I want the value for beta alpha, I will be placing my beta first and then alpha next. Namely, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 5, 4 and then followed by it you will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 2, 3, 1, 4, 5. Okay. The combination will again be a number which is going to be taking the elements to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We will see what is going to be the answer for it. So, I have 1 mapped with 1 and 1 mapped with 2. So, 1 is mapped with 2. 2 mapped with 2 and 2 mapped with 3 so 2 goes to 3. 3 with 3 and 3 with 1 so 3 goes to 1. 4 with 5 and 5 with 5 so 4 goes to 5. 5 with 4 and 4 with 4 so 5 is mapped with 4. So this is my beta alpha. What is going to be the next question? You need alpha square. What is going to be alpha square? Alpha square is nothing but alpha times of alpha. So, the same composition is done for alpha twice. So, place two copies of your alpha side by side. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
टू थ्री वन फोर फाइव एंड डू द कॉम्पोजिशन फ्रॉम लेफ्ट टू राइट सो द अरेंजमेंट विल बी द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ एलिमेंट्स वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव नो ओवर हेयर वन मैप्ड विद टू एंड टू मैप्ड विद थ्री टू विद थ्री एंड थ्री विद वन थ्री विद वन एंड वन विद टू फोर विद फोर एंड फोर विद फोर फाइव विद फाइव एंड फाइव विद फाइव सो माय वैल्यू फॉर अल्फा स्क्वायर इज थ्री वन टू फोर फाइव द नेक्स्ट क्वांटिटी विच आई नीड इज अल्फा बीटा गामा सो लेट मी कंप्यूट माय अल्फा बीटा गामा व्हाट विल बी अल्फा बीटा गामा इट विल बी अल्फा बीटा टाइम्स ऑफ योर गामा अल्फा बीटा हैज ऑलरेडी बीन डन फॉर यू बिकॉज वी नो दैट द कॉम्पोजिशन इज गोइंग टू वर्क लेट मी टेक द वैल्यू फॉर अल्फा बीटा फ्रॉम ओवर हियर दिस पार्ट सो लेट मी कॉपी पेज दिस सो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एंड देन द वैल्यू और द कॉम्पोजिशन इज टू थ्री वन फाइव फोर टू थ्री वन फाइव फोर एंड नाउ प्लेस द कॉपी ऑफ योर गाम आउ ओवर हियर वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव विथ फाइव फोर थ्री वन टू नाउ द आंसर विल ऑल्सो बी एंड कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ द सेम एलिमेंट्स we will see the order 1 to 2 and 2 with 4 so 1 gets mapped with 4 2 with 3 and 3 with 3 so it goes to 3 3 with 1 and 1 is mapped with 5 so this goes to 5 4 with 5 and 5 with 2 so 4 gets mapped to 2 5 with 4 and 4 with 1 so this gets mapped with 1 so this is going to be my answer for it now let me take the last part of it so what is going to be the last part of your question we need to solve for the equation alpha x equal to beta so let us solve for the equation alpha x equal to beta what do you mean by solve i need to get the value for x how to get the x i need to make it independent now right so it becomes um Uh, uh, yeah yeah remove of all the quantities so what we do is we do the operation of multiplying or operating it by alpha inverse on both sides so what will happen over here this will become alpha inverse of beta now by composition uh, associative law is going to be true so alpha inverse of alpha let me take so this is going to be my identity element so i will have this to be equal to 1 an identity multiplied by x will give me x so my the value of x if i am going to solve is going to be equal to alpha inverse of beta so the point over here is beta is already available but alpha inverse is not available for me so my point is now to compute what is going to be my alpha inverse so for which case i will take my alpha first alpha is going to be given as 2 3 1 4 5 Two, three, one, four, five. For one, two, three, four, five. So what I need is alpha inverse. How to get alpha inverse from alpha? Just flip your elements upside down. That is, if one and two are here, write it as two and one. Two and three is replaced as three and two. So what you do is you flip it upside down. Every element is flipped upside down. Okay. so the combination which we have over here it will be 1 and then 3 4 and then 4 and 5 and then 5 now after this the main point is always the elements are the arrangement of the quantities 1 2 3 4 and 5 so what we need to do is we need to place them in the proper positioning in which case what is happening where is my 1 present one is present over here and underneath we have three so place under one the three what is the next element two and then underneath it we have it one next element is going to be three and underneath it we have it to be two four has four underneath it and five has five below it so the value of alpha inverse will be 1 2 3 4 5 arranged as 3 1 2 4 5 so you need to keep in mind 
after flipping you will have to rearrange the elements in order of 1 2 3 4 5 because that is going to be the case in which the elements are arranged now my alpha inverse is ready now to solve for x what i need to do as a last stitch i need to operate it by a copy of beta so in my next case what do i do is i just have my x to be equal to alpha inverse of beta so place your copy of 1 2 3 4 5 alpha inverse 1 2 3 4 5 which is beta what was your alpha inverse 3 1 2 4 5 3 1 2 4 5 and the value for beta was beta was 1 2 3 5 4 1 2 3 5 and 4 now we can do the operation of composition where the arrangement is again the elements of the form 1 2 3 4 5 1 is mapped with 3 3 with 3 so this makes it as 3 2 with 1 1 with 1 so this gives me 1 3 with 2 2 with 2 so this gives me 2 4 with 4 4 with 5 so 4 gives me 5 5 with 5 and 5 with 4 so this gives me 4 hence the value for the x which is going to be a solution of the given equation like alpha x equal to beta will be 3 1 2 5 4 hope this video helped you to understand the concept of permutation groups in a better way to compute alpha inverse and various combinations of the arrangements happy learning keep learning thank you